What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and hopefully, you guys are having a great day today. Today, people, we're gonna keep on talking about World War II Call of Duty. And if you guys like these kinds of commentaries and also the style of the video, let me know in the comment section and also leave a like in the video because that's gonna let me know that you guys want to see more Call of Duty World War II. And by the way, yes, I'm hyped about this game because I'm returning to my old school self, you know, boots on the ground. I started Call of Duty in Black Ops 1 and now I get to go back to it. Like, I cannot believe it. I'm not going to be jumping 10 feet in the air on cocaine and shit. Like, it's all about boots on the ground and you got to find your path to, like, flank the enemy pretty much quick. So, it's going to be very interesting to see me play the game because most of you guys, most of my new subs, don't even know how I used to play. I mean, literally my videos are up there, but nobody sees them, so... And it does have some creepy-ass commentary, so I don't recommend to watch them. But yeah, some of my new subs, you're about to see how I used to play. I was the king back in the day, man. Back in Black Ops 1, I was fucking owning. But anyways, now moving on to the main topic of today, guys. We're going to be talking about the maps and the season pass this time. Last time we talked about Call of Duty World War II, we talked about the weapons and the supply drops and how there might be modern weapons in the supply drops. Yes, and it's just a prediction, people. I'm not trying to implement nothing to the game or trying to tell you guys some details about the future of the game. It's just some predictions and it might happen because you know Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 they both had old school weapons like the M1 Grand and the other one with the MP something MP40 I believe and uh, you know since they did that they might do it reverse this year where they add modern weapons and you're gonna have to use these old school weapons these old weapons with low rapid fire and low accuracy against these freaking accurate ass guns with sights like, who's going to win that battle? Now it's going to be turning into pay to win. So that's my last argument that I did about this game. And you guys want to see it, you guys just want to go into my videos. And it's going to be like, uh, maybe like three videos away. So just click on it. You see my discussion and you get, you get to see like what I talk about in that video. So about the modern weapons into World War II. So anyways, um, so that's the last thing I talked about Call of Duty World War II. And now we're going to be talking about the season pass and the maps. So... My experiences with the maps for Call of Duty have been terrible so far, especially the one with Black Ops 3. It pissed me the hell off because, one, all the great weapons, all the good weapons came out on the supply drops. Not on the season pass that you paid like 40 to 50 bucks on, it came out on the supply drops. Like, if I'm paying the same amount as the game, again, I wasted like 120 bucks on Black Ops 3. Why don't I get the guns for free? Why not? You guys did it for Black Ops 2, but I don't get it for Black Ops 3. Like, what the hell, man? Black Ops 3, it seemed worth it because, you know, the season pass seemed worth it because they give you a gun. And that was amazing because now you can, like, brag to your friends, like, hey, I got the season pass and I got the Peacekeeper. That was, you know, pretty much pre-patch because after the patch, like, that gun sucked balls. But after the patch, it sucked. But before the patch, it was the king of the, of the freaking game. It was good for a while. And uh, that was a good feeling back in Black Ops 2 having the season pass but now having the season pass nowadays and all the good guns coming on the supply drops it make it seems worthless like if you guys want to pay for season pass right now it better be worth 20 bucks or even 10 bucks because the dlc maps suck especially for black ops 3 they all suck balls man except for some of the old school maps but they want us to play on top of a freaking water park it's like playing on top of a rainbow. Like, I don't want to fucking do that. Immerse us, you know, make us immerse into the game. Show us some badass maps, you know, buildings falling down, fucking put us in the streets. What would happen if it would have reached New York and shit? Like, put us in those kinds of maps. Do not put us on top of a fucking rainbow. So, that's what sucked about Black Ops 3. It was pretty much of a kid show. And then Infinite Warfare, they did it again with a terrible map. So, like, the maps are terrible, the new maps are terrible, but the old school maps, they give you, like, one per DLC uh, pack. Like, one of the maps is actually pretty good because it's the old school maps, you know. They did it with Ghosts also, called the Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, but, you know, the rest of the maps, they suck. And also, at the same time, they don't give you the new weapons. Like, what's up with that? I feel like I got robbed right there. Like, oh, man, I paid these extra 60 bucks and you don't give me the new weapons? Are you freaking serious? I'd rather waste 60 bucks more on the supply drops than on the season pass. Fuck the season pass. I don't care if I don't have the maps. I don't care if I don't have the zombie maps. I don't even play fucking zombies. I'd rather have the weapons. 
because that's what I'm good at. That's my field. I know how to customize my weapons to pretty much to a good taste and you know own out there than freaking play on the map that's made for kids. Freaking add a swing set already, right? Fucking add a freaking uh you know a pacifier once and for all. Might as well. So that is it, guys. That's my discussion about the season pass. Do not buy it. It is worthless, people. Do not get the season pass right now. Do not get the hard edition. No matter what they give you, do not buy the season pass. It's not worth it because most of the good stuff comes out on the supply jobs. Waste 60 bucks on the supply jobs. Fuck the season pass. And that's pretty much my point of this video. So that is it people if you guys enjoyed this commentary you guys want to see more of this make sure you leave a like because the next time we come in, we're going to come back for call of duty world war 2 we're going to be talking about you know pretty much the weapons or the characters or the story or whatever you know i'm gonna make some more predictions so you guys can you know pretty much get a picture of what to expect in the next call of duty since i've been playing it for the past years and i kind of get the rhythm at this point so that is it people if you guys want to see more call of duty world war 2 details and news make sure you subscribe for more because there's going to be more stuff coming up